First of all, I want to say how excited I am to see all eight episodes of this series. Um, what are you guys actually most excited for fans to see in the Rings of Power? The extraordinary thing about reading the books as a youngster is that I had my my imagination fired by the Lord of the Rings, and then uh, there's certain visual imagery out there already from the movies, etc. But this is a brand new world of the Second Age, and so just the amount the amount uh, the amount of new, different, new worlds to get involved with and uh, how they're presented. I'm, I'm just, in, in, in the back of my head, there's always like the 11-year-old kid who's never seen any of this before, ever, never read anything. And for the first time, they're going to be introduced to, to Tolkien's world. Um, that's, that's what I'm most excited about. I'm excited for the dwarves <laughs> and the elves, the half-feet, and these three guys, Numenorians. Come on. I, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all these beautiful worlds coming together in such an amazing show that is so special and dear to us that we've lived with for like three years. And it's we're bursting at the seams to for the world to see it. And we've 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 put so much care and love into it that we hope you enjoy it as well. But Numenor in particular, yeah, I think that's yeah. that's we are the greatest uh, without a doubt of course a hundred hundred percent um what do you think fans of lord of the rings would be surprised to learn about the actual making of this series i'd say in in the world of um in the world of cgi they'd be very surprised to see how much was actually made by by hands uh in our case the set of numenor is absolutely phenomenal um it took months and months to build and and landing on it uh, as the actors in in the costumes the the amount the the skill of the creators of this whole project um is has been inspiring it's been wonderful to be able to work with but just yeah i think that's the surprise it, it's 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 been made it's real there, there'll be elements of cgi of course but but just the uh the reality on the ground particularly of numenor yeah. uh will be uh, will be a surprise i think i also we didn't know what was happening at the end of the season because we, when we get the script we only just get the script for like episodes so we were like fans waiting for the for, for each new episode to come in and we would read it and then we'd call each other and be like oh my god we're doing this we're doing that and it was just like a whirlwind of excitement it was like children at christmas I mean, the level of detail, I feel like we've been hammering that a lot. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I just, uh, Numenor in, in particular, they built a city. Um, there's like alleyways there that probably don't even make it on camera that are like amazing. Um, <coughs> there's this one that has Elvish that's been like graffitied over with, with Numenorian, which if you know the lore is like a beautiful little detail. Um, but it's like, it's in this tiny corner that I found one day that I don't, I don't even know if they're going to shoot it, but it's, it's awesome. Like, How would you guys actually describe like the scale and scope of the series? Because it seems to me like this is going to be immense. It is. <laughs> Everything is bigger. <laughs> Everything is uh, just amped up and pushed to the extreme uh, of, of what can be done and achieved uh, by TV. I think they're creating a new form of TV. It's like epic TV where every single episode is like a film. It's digestible in a way that sometimes the like longer style films aren't. So um, it's more accessible in a way. Yeah. In terms of like crew and extras, I know for me, like I had, I had never been on something with so many people just showing up for work on the same day in the same location and, and in terms of scale and scope i mean the scale and scope of tolkien's imagination is is unfathomable and uh you know there, there's a limit to how much you can do in terms of of his scope uh but i think at this point in history uh and time and as as, as maxim was saying that, that you, you you get a chance to write write a bit more of a novel on celluloid and so it's, it's the amazon have given it this amount of time space help love and resource is is extraordinary because a con the combination of that amount of time the elements that you can produce now technically in terms of being able to realize some of that imagination uh, of tolkien's is makes makes the scope and scale enormous but hopefully also what we've done is trying to make that domestic drama the sm the smallness of the interpersonal relationships that how how 
these the the scale of the events of of Middle Earth and and the powers of the gods and fate, how they affect each individual down at this really tiny granular level has been our job as the actor to try and to try and portray the the truth of those moments between each other last question for you guys without spoilers uh which episode is your favorite of the eight and why i would i I would say uh number two for me (laughs) okay epic moment that connects all of the worlds and (laughs) it's pretty it's pretty special and i think when you watch it you'll understand what i mean but episode two for me i'd say uh six Five. I like how each of you are giving a different answer. Um, I can't wait. You? Listen, what about you? I'm gonna I'm gonna say episode one just because <laughs> it's gonna be you know. The, well, anyway, I'm um, listen. I got. I'm already getting the signal to wrap. No, no um, we were being modest. Though we were being modest. We really love episode three because it's when we first appear. Right? <laughs> simply, it's the ego has to come through there. The golem inside us is saying three. All right. I honestly cannot wait, and uh, I really can't wait to talk to you guys again in more detail about the actual series. Um, Thank you so much for your time, and wish you guys nothing but the best.